Hi everyone, I'm Roman Kazantsev. I'm very pleased to present our work, Power Consumption of Video Decoders on Various Android Devices, a Picture Coding Symposium 2021. You know that video calls, watching and video recording are very popular use cases on mobile devices, but all of them lead to significant power drop. For estimating power efficiency and performance of Android video decoders, we develop benchmark that covers six video compression standards and three resolutions. The method implemented in our benchmark relies on the following approaches. We use Android Media API to access all video decoders available on a given device. Battery Manager API helps to retrieve the current battery level. We ensure that during benchmarking, the device is on autonomous mode and it has neither too low nor too high battery level. Also, we spend 3% battery for decoding one bit stream. Our method compute four benchmarking metrics to compare different video decoders and uh, different Android models. The first one is a screen power consumption. That is a ratio of battery level change and time duration. It's measured during the device is in idle mode. The second one is a decoding speed. We decode the same bit stream and times until the battery level is changed by 3%. So the total decoding number of frames divided by time duration is decoding speed. The third one is a pure decoding power consumption. For this, we compute total decoding energy needed by just decoder avoiding screen power consumption because during the benchmarking, the screen is on and we need to avoid. And uh, delta decode divided by playback time is a pure decoding power consumption where playback time is a maximum from decoding speed and real time. And the last one is a playback power consumption. That is a sum of decoding and screen power consumption. And it's useful for end users. To check confidence of the proposed power metrics, we arrange an experiment on two different devices to see how the playback varies on them and to check dependence between power metric value and battery level. And in both cases, we observe small standard deviation. For benchmarking, we selected three video sequences with mean spatial and temporal complexities from our huge video case. We resize them to SD, HD, and Full HD resolutions, encode them for six video compression standards using low latency configuration. We also check acceptance of visual quality uh, for generated bit streams. And um, we see that PCNR is increasing from old compression standards to the new ones. PSNR is a sufficient quality metric in our case due to the small size of the screen. To collect data from a big number of devices, we develop automatic system that includes Android application to benchmark client devices, server to collect data, and scripts to clean up our data set from anomalies and duplicates. We use Yandex Tolica for crowdsourcing platform to encourage many people to run our benchmark on their devices for payment. So we collect data from 200 Android devices and top 30 list about playback power efficiency for each resolution are depicted on this slide where we can see that hardware decoders outperforms software decoders in terms of power efficiency. But nevertheless, software decoders can still be remain efficient for low resolution. A new compression standard is more efficient than all the compression standards for high resolution. And on the right side of the slide, there is a bar about playback power for Samsung Galaxy A70. In our work, we managed to collect power data from two 36 Android devices and two benchmark video decoders of nine manufacturers. Also, we propose a simple solution 
to benchmark video recorders in terms of power efficiency and performance uh, on devices with Android 5 or higher versions. Thanks for watching.